Hello everyone, welcome to Startup GK quiz number 185. This video is aimed to help you with your central and state government job examination. I'm with Prisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Which among the following is most electronegative element? The correct answer is fluorine. Electronegativity is an atom's relative ability to remove an electron pair in the formation of a covalent bond, that is an atom's ability to steal a pair of electrons from the outer ring of another atom to make a covalent bond. Across the periodic table, that is from left to right, this gets harder to do due to an increase in attraction forces between the nuclear charge and the outer electrons. Therefore, across the periodic table, more electronegativity energy is required to remove those electrons. Down the periodic table, from top to bottom, attraction forces between the electrons in the outer shell and the central nuclear charge decreases. This makes it easier for electrons to be stolen, so there is less electronegativity required. Fluorine is the highest and furthest to the right, making it the most electronegative. Helium and neon, etc., have full outer shells, so aren't involved in covalent bonds at all, that is, they are noble gases. Which among the following is the property of tungsten which makes it eligible to use in the bulbs? Correct answer is its highest melting point. The electric heating is also used to produce light as an electric bulb. Here, the filament must retain as much of the heat generated as is possible so that it gets very hot and emits light. It must not melt at such high temperature. A strong metal with high melting points, such as tungsten, it has a melting point of 3380 degrees Celsius, that's well above 3000. It is used for making bulk filaments. The filament should be thermally isolated as much as possible using insulating support. The bulbs are usually filled with chemically inactive nitrogen and argon gases to prolong the life of the filament. Most of the power consumed by the filament appears as heat, but a small part of it is in the form of light radiator. Froth and foams are example of which of the following? The correct answer is gas suspended in liquid. Froth is a bubbly substance that usually forms on the surface of a liquid, that is uh, when you boil milk for too long. It can also be called foam. However, foam can be other things as well. For example, rubber foam is a sponge-like stuff that you fill sofas and pillows with. Which among the following was the first artificially produced element? Correct answer is technetium. Technetium is a chemical element with the symbol of Tc, an atomic number of 43. It is the lightest element whose isotopes are all radioactive. None of them are stable, excluding the fully ionized state of 97 Tc. Duralumin, which is used in the making of aeroplanes, is an alloy consisting of what? Correct answer is aluminium, copper, manganese and magnesium. Aircraft manufacturers use high-strength duralumin, principally alloy 7075 of aluminium, to strengthen aluminium aircraft structures. Aluminium alloy 7075 has copper at the rate of 1.6%, magnesium of 2.5% and zinc of 5.6% added for ultimate strength, but the copper content makes it very difficult to weave. As per Avogadro's hypothesis, equal volumes of different gases at the same temperature and pressure contain equal number of molecules. So Avogadro's hypothesis states that two samples of gas of equal volume at the same temperature and pressure contain the same number of molecules. It allows chemists to predict the behavior of ideal gases. Amidio Avogadro made the hypothesis in 1811 in an essay submitted to the Journal de Physique. The process of purifying water by spraying water onto the bed of stones where microorganisms live so that the microorganisms feed on the pathogens in water and can make the water free from harmful pathogens is called biofilter method. A successful biofilter is much more than a machine. For example, aquarium biofilters work by letting organisms break down waste just like in nature. A biological filtration system provides several phases for microorganisms to grow in the tank and can include plants and small invertebrate animals. And jewelry was left exposed to atmosphere for some time and it became coated with green carbonate. 
The jewelry is made up of which of the following? Correct answer is copper. So this green thing is copper carbonate. Verdigris is the common name for the green pigment obtained through the application of acetic acid to copper plates or the natural patina formed when copper, brass or bronze is weathered and exposed to air or sea water over a period of time. When we buy a jewellery of 22 carat gold, this means that we are getting a purity of gold with 91.67%. 24 carat gold contains 24 part pure gold, 22 carat contains 22 parts pure gold and 2 parts of other metals added as alloy. 18 carat gold contains 18 parts pure gold with 6 parts of other metals. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.